Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Give God the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelah. Are you all able to see my face and everything probably? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I see from my head all, all around. It's shining. 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 I love your head. Thank you very much. <laughs> How's it? I love your tie. Oh, my God. I was just my looking dad. for... I was, I was just, thank you. I was just trying to see because the camera doesn't show my head. So, and I'm just seen on the other side. So that's why I asked really. I, I don't know okay. you guys know. We uh, love your head. Great. We love your head. Great. Thank you very love much. We thank God for your nice. life. <laughs> Stop haircut. <laughs> the hair is looking sharp. <laughs> okay, 25 years old. You said you made it. You did that. I have to that's me. So I am costly myself this because I don't really <laughs> like attention. Oh gosh, man. <laughs> this question was 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 it's a proper question. It's not the normal ones that I do. <laughs> I wanted to see. <laughs> So thank you very much for your for everything. Give God the glory. We are celebrating a wonderful birthday as well, and I believe um, we need to be sharp for the birthday as well. So we thank God for that. We give God the glory. And the best of all, sharp to the Almighty God. As we are ministering to millions of people worldwide, they have to see that we are more serious, very serious about the God that we serve. And we thank God for every move this morning. And we give you praise, Lord, for what you're about to do in the midst of your people. Lord God, I give you praise. I surrender all. I surrender all. Hallelujah. All to me, blessed Savior. I surrender. This morning I surrender. And I surrender. I come on, sit in it. Oh, to you. I'm blessed that Savior. Everybody lift your holy hands before the King. And I surrender. And I surrender. My blessed Savior, I surrender. Fill my cup, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come and quench this day in my soul. Bread of heaven, you made love. Fill my cup, fill it up, and make me. Everywhere in the world, I live. I live. 
Hallelujah. I give you all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm back in this. Hallelujah. Somebody say, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Oh. Holy Spirit, 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 Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Take a deep breath and call upon the Holy Ghost. Holy Spirit. And oh. And oh. Right there with you right now, the anointing of the Holy Ghost is in the midst of the world right now. Oh. Thank you, Spirit. And oh, surrender this moment to feel the presence of the Holy Ghost. But call upon Him, call upon Him, call upon Him, call upon Him. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Holy Spirit. Yeah. La 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 Lift those hands to the king this moment. Lift those hands. Forget about everything. Just call upon the Holy Ghost. Move upon the surface of the waters. Move upon the people of God. Move into the earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised and adored. Somebody come and lift up your holy hands. So we Oh, blessed be the day. Blessed be the day. Oh, 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 blessed be the day. Oh,
your voice and worship that king. Lift your voice and your heart and your hands. Nobody else like you, oh Lord, 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 Spirit, you are welcome in this place all over the world. And that will be done. Only that will be done. Just your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. May your name be glorified. Jesus is the sweetest name I've ever known, the most powerful. Whichever language that the name is mentioned is the sweetest. However, I said, is still the most powerful. I worship you, Lord. Your people, because you deserve all the glory. Master, take your glory. Take your glory. Take the preeminence. We thank you. In all that glorious name, Jesus. All that glorious name, Jesus. 
the name that is above all names. We thank you. We thank you. And let the people of God around the world say a big, big amen and give a shout offering to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 
The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That a God, we have a shepherd, and that shepherd, he knows everything, he knows how to save, he knows how to keep, he knows how to feed, he knows how to provide in the name of Jehovah. Amen. Amen. God of God. These days, we are going to work with him, change things around the earth by manifesting him. In the olden times, the Lord God made sure that a specific place and things will be done and set various altars for him so that he will come and dwell in and show his power. Amen. And show his glory. And all this time, when the people were setting up the altars for him, it was, they were setting up the altars and he comes there and begin to show up in when we set up those altars for him. Not until, not until Yeshua came, and when Yeshua came, Yeshua began to fulfill exactly what was being done and the difference, God still loved the altars, but they, he pointed out what the altar really is. Mm -hmm. God really enjoyed the fact that somebody will set a place and say that this place is named by God. And that person will respect that place and will call upon God there and God will come down. But child of God, when God came down in those altars, God didn't come down because of the altar that has been served, but because of the one who recognized him and set that altar. He sees that person as the altar that is giving that reverence to him. Amen. So men were the men that love God were, were doing extraordinary things for God and setting up places for God. And God was still coming there, but God was actually blessing them because somebody decided they forgot that God's aim was on them. Without them, the altars makes no difference to God. Without you. Any altar doesn't mean anything mm. without somebody consciously going to make something for God and set apart something for God. God do not respect anything else. The altars that are made, all those altars were holy because holy people went to set that holy place for the almighty God and named it. It is not, there's no altar that is set by any uh, um, anything that is, is for God that didn't involve men. It didn't, there's not one that will just come from heaven and stay there. And that is the difference. Men who even set up the altars, when they give so much respect to the altar, God sees the respect that they are giving to him. So God, if the consciousness of the people doing bringing that altars and setting them up is the blessings that God releases because of the person, not because the recognition of the, the God 
that is around that somebody sets up. So as soon as people now realize that, oh, this is just something, it's nothing else. God now shows up immediately to show that, look, somebody dedicated this to me and I've honored it. And because I've not honored it, my strength and my power will ever be in it. So that people uh, can say the God of Abraham. And then when uh, the, the, the Jews began to argue about the, the God, uh, Abraham is dead. And he says, if you call Abraham the God of Abraham, then is God the God of a dead person? Abraham is totally and fully alive and alive forever through the altars that is set for God. And that makes the difference. Now, God doesn't need an altar in heaven. Tell somebody, God doesn't need an altar in heaven. God needs need an altar on earth. God, God doesn't need, need an altar, altar in heaven. He needs an altar in on earth. That's it. Heaven, heaven, God has, is, is for, for forever, oh Lord, that where they settle where. In heaven. Yes. in heaven. Forever, oh Lord, that where the settled where? In heaven. Yeah, oh. in heaven. God doesn't need any issues to happen. Heaven. heaven is settled. Heaven is settled. So that is why Jesus, Yeshua, will say that let thy will be done on earth here as it is in heaven. Yeah. For us to, 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 to make a difference to God, we must shake this earth for heaven to recognize and stamp it. You are more important to God than any altar that you build. But when you build that altar with Coordinate, respecting and knowing that he is. That altar that you place his name there and his name will be great in that place forever. Say amen to that. Amen. 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 We are going to read the scripture. Um, uh, uh, Dr. Queen Mary, have you given, have you, have you got that scripture on, in, is it Exodus? 20, I gave you. 24, yeah. 25. 22 to 24. 22 to 24. Oh. Yes, yeah, so, um, Bev Degia, can you read that scripture for us, please? Exodus 20, 22 to 24. Then the Lord said to Moses, Thus you shall say to the Israelites, you have seen for yourselves that I have spoken to you from heaven. No, I you think um, I think Mary, hold on. Queen Mary, did you see the scripture well? It's Exodus 20, 24 to 25. Where did you see the 22? But are you in Exodus 20? Yeah, this is... It's, uh, it's 24 and 25. Yes? Is it Exodus we have? If it's Exodus 20, yeah. then yeah, 24 and 25, please read that, that one. That's as I've checked, I've just checked. That's why I sent to you. I think that number 22, you have to look at it because God wants to do something with that for you. Exodus 20, 24, and 25. You shall make an altar of, of earth for me and sacrifice on it your mm -hmm. burnt offerings and your peace offerings, your sheep and your oxen. In every place where I cause my name to be recorded and remembered through revelations of my divine nature, I will come to you and bless you. If you make an altar of stone for me, you shall not build it of cut stones. For if you use a chisel on it, you will profane it. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So, so now you can see that God, he is so heavily, and he knows that heaven is so settled, so much that he is not really, heaven, he doesn't need anything in heaven. God doesn't need anything at all in heaven. He, everything he needs here, because when he created man in his own image, he created man and from out of the earth, he, put, he placed everything and put man into it. He breathed into man, man became a living being. And now, what he gets from F to me, F means yourself and everything that is, is around you, he wants you to build his name and dedicate it unto him. You got to dedicate things to the and what the first thing that to dedicate ourselves full dedication to God. Not until the person is fully dedicated unto God, he cannot give anything else. The first earth to be dedicated to God is is you. The first earth to be dedicated is yourself. Is myself, child of God. I personally, I, I think I've always been thinking that I'm really up to challenges. I believe, um, I believe in God so much that every challenge that comes. I see that uh, it is no, no problem. I see it, we sorted out, no matter how it is. Not until, when I say not until, everybody wants to hear. You know, not until um, Manifest God 2021. And when the Lord now showed me exactly the, the picture of how souls must be drawn into the world, from the world into Christ, and he needs to take over the whole media, the whole media, and he takes me to places to see how God's name is even being polluted on the media. And he says, because uh, um, every people don't even realize the media is being used negatively in so many areas. And it's showing me, I mean, I could see there are believers being shown on, 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 on media, actually forgotten the total about the gospel and it has turned into politics and world list of on the end you know, the titles of the people that are doing that, they, they put the name of God is on them. And I'm seeing this. And now, when we started 2021, and the number of people who are coming from every part of the world, and the needs of the people, the needs of the people. First, they need Jesus than anything. Then other needs, so many, so many people need healing. So many people need homes to live in. So many people have been persecuted. They have been killed, chased, and beaten. Oh, Jesus. And some people, now, they, I, 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 for the first time in my life, and I know, I know, you could, it was definitely the first time. I'm a strong man of faith. I believe I'm very strong. But then it just dawned on me. Ask God, <laughs> this, how, how, this is me now feeling it. Because in the night, I'll be sleeping, I'll wake up because somebody 
needs help somewhere. And I, when I go, I go, I go, when I go here, somebody's there waiting. And everybody needs, there are millions of people out there with messages. Everybody want prayer. Uh, and I was hearing, we, we're working with um, uh, as the, most of the platforms to send them into places where they don't have to go. And this morning was a premier radio. So we put them on and spread them to Africa, everywhere in the world. Those who cannot get them, they are not, no, Premier is not just a UK issue. Everywhere in the world, is we, we put them on our platforms. And then there was a testimony of a woman who 2018, she, she, she met a, when she met, she met a guy, first day they went, she had panic attack, he said, this is a Christian. Then after a while, many years, they got together, they want to marry, and then she got uh, uh, um, cancer. And then they started treating cancer throughout the whole of um, 2018 to 19. And then from 2018 to 19, they, they, she, because of that, they were planning to, she can't have kids. She wants to go and now go and get uh, um, uh, an orphanage and get somebody to adopt then because of her sickness she couldn't do it and all this time she was listening to the only she couldn't go to church and she was listening to the media where she can get something to that is a church and finally 2020 declared her all and she's back to, to, to work again. And they are married and going on and blessing the name of the Lord. But you see, you see these challenges and all sorts of challenges coming. This is a huge testimony. So many people having tasted of the pain that others are going through. So many people have been tasted of the, uh, um, the, the very challenges that a lot of people are going through. So sometimes we make things very, so very easy things that we need to give to God. We are even holding back. God has actually, you know, you, you have been in a privileged position to be where you are. This the kind of stuff that people are still going through today, even to know Jesus alone. The kind of uh, whips and beatings that they have gotten that I'm, I'm listening to and he's coming to us, pray for us, pray for us, pray for us, pray for us. Now, I've now realized that Jesus wasn't feeling that heaviness for nothing. He was actually going to birth something that's going to change the world. Ask God, this is, this is what is this now I'm seeing here? I said, I want to. My Lord, this is like, how is it going to happen? How, how will you handle this? And the Lord says, you remember? It took 300 men to defeat all the Midianites. If we can build, break those, the altars of Baal, the altars that has been set up, those altars that are the, the, the demonic altars, your altars that you need to break down to set the altars that we are talking about. It is the altars of the demonic stuff that has come into the media. And now too, this morning, when whilst we are on with, um, our guest uh, uh, from Premier Premier Radio, they are announcing in, in that they even um, they have made a research and said that um, um, uh, 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 pornography is, uh, is supposed to be a part of way of life because they, they, um, when one out of ten people, one out of five, whichever one of them, uh, says that if they can get protection and uh, and proper. A, a security and everything, they don't mind getting into that industry. So they have to look into this. And this is, this is something that they, is, is really going on on media and the Christian bodies are standing against that. It is It brings more mental conditions. There are a lot of conditions that it causes than what you're saying, one out of what. The majority even 
finds it not uh, um, conducive. But these are altars. They are altars. They are set up in the media, and that those altars are coming. They are actually coming into the house of God. People are promoting negative authors. So that's what I'm, I'm wanting every believer as we are starting. You see, this is a big, huge thing that God, I don't think this was what I thought when I thought of Manifest God. And I've been having serious challenge. I've been having serious challenge. And I can see that I need to really surrender because look, I can, I, I can think of so many things that God wants me to do. And for the first time, I could realize that I, I need God more than anything because some strongholds needs to be broken because I think about, I can see, I think about Christ's temple building. I think about it, I think more in my head, more than the way that God is putting in, my, in me. And I can see that the spirit of God is speaking to me, but I can't take it out of me. You see, I can't take it out of me. It can't leave me. And I can see God is, there's a challenge over there. I said, so I, I so, why don't you leave it with me? Yes, I, I know I leave things with you and I think I've left it with you, but I, I also feel I have it. This is, you reach, when you reach some level where God is pushing you into some serious things, you now start to know that when they say, let the weak say I'm strong, that is really you. Let the weak say I'm strong, that is really you. That is when now, when you are praying that it, 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 this Holy Spirit, he, he actually stands in, uh, uh, he knows our infirmities and he, he goes to the Father and speaks on our behalf. With groanings, that cannot be uttered. When God is shifting you up, it's not easy. When God is shifting you up, there is a challenge. When God is shifting you up, there is a shake up. When God is shifting you up, you know, you, there are some levels that we haven't reached. That when you start going there, when you haven't got there, you think you, everything is like you are on the maximum. I never thought in my life ever that one day, I will see something that God says I should do. And then I will look at it and see that God, this is like huge. I know God, this, I've never thought of anything big so far as God is concerned. But then you can, when God just reveals some few things to you, the media is, oh my love, of God. We got to tear that altar down to build the altar of the Lord. And you and I got to rise up from our inside with everything, with everything, with everything. When God talked about the altar of earth, now, a uh, woman of God, read what he says that needs to be done with that altar. You just read them one after the other, please. What to be what to be said on that the, the order altar? Really slowly there. It's not up. Oh, okay. Doctor Queen, Maria. I'm the only one called her Maria because she was named after my mother and my uh, father's Sorry, mother, and my father's mother. Name her after Queen Mary and Queen Maya, both. It's like MMM, two queens. Your name uh, uh, after two queens. My mother is a queen. My father's mother is the original queen of the whole area. Now, uh, read it one after the other. You shall make an altar of earth, yes? You shall make an altar of earth for me and sacrifice on it your burnt offerings and hold your- on, Hold on, hold on there, hold on. Hold on, burnt offering. You should sacrifice on it, burnt offering. When, when we are talking of burnt offering, it takes 
the fire of God, the fire of God, the fire of God is very important in burnt offering, which I'll go through it in detail, but it involves fire. When we create that system, there's the need, the fire of God, because the challenges on that altar, God must be in there. And that God, that fire, you got to call upon that fire to be the fire of God. He says, you shall be, you shall be a, a baptized with the Holy Spirit and with fire. With the Holy Ghost and with fire. So there's fire involved. And next one, and, and what? The next, bent offering and... Your sheep. Are you are you muted? No, I'm not. No, for start, we didn't hear we didn't hear you from the start. Okay. We didn't hear you. We only hear sheep. So and what? Your sheep Bent, and your oxen. No, 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 no. Burnt offering and what? Burnt offerings and and your peace offerings. Amen. Hold on, the peace offering. He is a prince of peace and the Lord of Lords. You go to these things as in the Old Testament and how it also indicates in the New Testament. You need, that altar needs fire. It also needs peace. And then your sheep and what? Your sheep and your oxen. Hallelujah. Your sheep and your oxen. Now, when, 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 when it, anything referred to the sheep, it's referring to you. It's referring to you. You're the shepherd, the Lord is our shepherd. You see, so you, God comes into the place, his peace comes into the place, and then you follow up. And then oxen is your things that God gives you. You know, the things that your property, the, the things, it can be anything. And today I'm going to give you the things that are in, in the physical realm that we can now dedicate to God. That's part of our oxen. The whole altar is, is God coming in, is a, in with the power and he comes in with peace. And then we come in to it and we sacrifice ourselves unto him and then also our Oxen. The oxen is everything else that can be given to God. And then and in every place, yes. In every place where I cause my name to be recorded, I remembered through revelations of my divine nature, I will come to you and bless you. Amen. You know, so now when we when we have done this. And we have dedicated it unto God. His name has been put on it. When you put God's name on anything, when the name of God is on anything, it brings blessings. It brings a change. It brings a revelation. It causes harmony. It makes things different. When the name of the Lord is placed on something, in child of God, that is what we are into as the children of God, that we, we got to get the, the whole thing burnt offering, the whole thing peace offering, the whole thing sheep that goes on, there is, a, is an altar of God, that goes on the altar of God. And then our oxen, we this on the altar of God. Now that we put the name of the Lord is on it, it becomes super, super powerful super, super powerful. And God comes there and says, he will bless you. I will come to you and bless you. Now you hear me carefully. When he didn't say he's going to bless the altar, but he's already only because you put his name on that altar. It is not the altar that makes a difference, but it is the name of God has been placed on there. And because you are part of the sacrifice on the altar and not just uh, you being the sacrifice, but the things that have been given to you, the things that are, 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 are you hold has also been given on the altar. Now, when you put the name of the Lord there, recorded God's name on it, he will come and bless you. The blessings come, will come and bless you. 
and in the end, he says, even if you are using stones to do it, there are certain stones I'm not interested in. God doesn't want a, a, a stony heart, a thing that's, that is callous, a thing that stands in his way. He wants a, a heart that is broken to him. He wants something that he can work with. He wants something that so God specifies as well. Child of God, today, we are building an altar, an altar on, as unto the Lord. And this day before these altars will take place, we need to crush those altars. And child of God, I feel it. And soon, if you don't feel it already, soon you will. Soon you will. Because the, the, the fact that you are hearing this voice, you are hearing the voice of God. So far as you are, you have been made and appointed to be here today means that you have been appointed to make sure that this vision will go far. That the demonic realm, those, those, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Sometimes you, you might, the, 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 the whole thing can be so huge and overwhelming and shaking to you. It doesn't matter how much you are shaking. God is not shaking. It's so far as we can do. It's what he needs that we will do. And he will do what he has to do. The, 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 the prophets, the, the demonic realm of the altars of, of, of Jezebel and Baal that was holding the people of God and making the Midianites to, to to triumph over them. The first thing when Jehovah God called Gideon and the altar must come down, he was afraid that in the morning when he goes and in the people see him and that's going to cause commotion, but he still must do it. If he has to go in the night to make it happen, it will happen. Whatever way that we are going to send the gospel and take over the media for Jesus and take a, and, and begin to pull down those strongholds and negativity. When child of God, somebody sends you any message that doesn't glorify God, just send it, send God's message back. Don't even bother about what I'm saying, God's message and dilute it. The platform is so heavy. The platform is so heavy. And God has told me that he's going to save souls. He means it. And that is a lot of people, so many people, the needs of the people of God, the needs and the challenges, the pain that people are facing. People have been to hospital about five times on surgery and they are children of God. They've been there. They've gone and they still, they, they, they are still in challenge and they are still believing God and they are still praying. They, are still, they still want God to do something. And we've been set apart and called to go and send that media. The, the whole internet is for Jesus. And we need to build an altar. I want to challenge you, child of God, that you're going to be part and parcel of this great work by standing in your position, standing in your position, that altar that you built for the Lord, you are also a sacrifice on that altar. God himself is a sacrifice on the altar. God, God coming with fire, with power, to, to is, is, is destroy the works of the enemy. He is there on it. And God has for peace, that bringing peace to the world, to change, Yeshua to change is on it. And you, you are in partnership with God on it. And that is not the end of it. Your things that God gives you, your money, your, your, your phones, your, your work, your everything must be placed on that altar. And when the name of God comes upon it, now you're going to see that blessings of God. It comes with big challenge. It comes with a huge challenge. And you're going to be selfless, child of God, to say that I am in for this. My heart is in for it. I'm just ready. But the kingdom of God has come to us today. We were going to change that God has given me full assurance, give me full assurance that he would triumph over the enemy. He is a winner. He's not going to lose. The people are seeing it differently, but he has already made his word. He has sent his word. I send my word and heals them. The, the challenges are coming, but the, we are more than overcoming. And you and I need to stand in the place. What is the time? 
12.26. Okay, thank God I'm in time. I'm just going to be closing this study because we have entered into the spiritual realm already. And we have we have worshiped God, we praise God, we have we have surrendered to Him. And some unction and anointing has come upon you. We are now setting ourselves ready to be used of God. And God has given us the privilege that we will go and manifest it. Now, the power of self is a challenge of the destiny of so many of us. I never thought that um, when I get to some level, I will begin to experience self in it. When I got to this level, I, I start feeling it. Never, never in my life. It is a new area. Never. And as you all know me, I say the way it is. I don't, I don't, I won't say that, oh, I'm feeling this, but I got to hide it from, from you. Because I actually hate the spirit of uh, um, some people making themselves, you know, they just can scribe, just scribe spirit that they, you, you make you load heavy loads on people, and then you yourself you can't do. And I let you know how I feel. I let you know how I feel because if I've never felt this before, I've never had this time in my life. I am I'm so solid and strong, and I I deal with in any level of situation. But I think God pushed some of the things that he's, he's feeling, he pushed it on me to feel how it is. And then suddenly I saw that there is some self in me. I have my own thing that I want to happen. I have said, Lord, I surrender all, but actually this is like, wow. This is not what I was thinking. I knew God has taken me through stuff and challenges and all the things that any human being could face on earth. But I see that the heart of God to win souls, to make a change, that media is a very strong place. The WhatsApps and everything, even Christians are rejecting the gospel. There's some people where they were on some of our platforms and they call me and says, Daddy, I want to come out of it. And I said, why? He says, because the messages that are coming on the platform, they are too much for me. My eyes just coming, clicking, 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 too many things. So you see, this is human being. When you've been called to set the captives free, you are waiting for messages that are coming and then you, you're not going to contribute and you are still feeling yourself. You want your peace of mind on your phone. You want your peace of mind on your phone. That tells you. And that level, I think that it is, they don't understand. But now it gets to another level where God, I'm looking at millions of people. It's like hitting, it's hitting me on, on a daily basis. And I can see that these are the people. So I understand when Jesus, he was as ministered all day, all day. And he wanted to go and rest. And the people were still coming. Then the Bible says he had compassion on them and he kept on preaching. Child of God. He says the works that he did we shall do and greater works shall you do. But I think he shall do, we are still on the we shall do. I think so. We are still on we shall do because I just think of how he managed all these people. But it is not by might, not by power, it's by his spirit. I'm expressing the need for us to work together and get this thing out there. Let's kill self. Let's stop the attitude of I am on a platform. God has spoken to me. All you need to do when you send one message is going to bless somebody and somebody gives a message. you got to also attend to it and let them feel uh, uh, enjoying what they are doing. But some people have been quiet on God, even on their small WhatsApp groups. And some people, they just give out, but they don't take anything from anyone. They just give out. And they, when, when, when they're about to give a message, you don't even look at what uh, somebody has given to even respond to it. They just give out this. 
just have it, have it, have it. And then what happens is that they becoming dry when they also have to absorb because iron sharpens iron. As I'm bringing my message to them, the first thing I want you, child of God, to do is to get a phone that is dedicated unto God. Get a phone, get a tablet, get a laptop, get something and dedicate it unto God. Let it not be your real phone that you answer everything. And be, make that altar, uh, the phone an altar. And those of you from everywhere you are hearing me, when you actually get a phone or a tablet and whatever you use, you have one separated unto God, you will call me. I'm going to have a service. And we are going to pray and speak into that phone. And that's every time that the, that the spirit of God will come into it, or the, the, the peace of God will come into it, our sacrifice will go into it, and every day, the phone that you have bought, it's part of the oxen that you have given. And then God's name will be on that phone. And when the God's name be on that phone, now God will start blessing you, because I mean this, get a phone, a phone that you, you is God. You don't see anything else on it than God. How many messages that come on it doesn't matter. You is God's one. You are going to send. We are going to use these phones. We're not going to be quiet on that phone. Like some of you have been so quiet on your phones because you use them. You're using for something else. You're using for that and you're using for that. And that could be more important to you. But God wants us to take this and match it. And listen to me. What I'm telling you, if you decide to do it, you are part of those that God has called. But if you decide not to, hear me carefully, child of God, it will still happen. The only difference would be is that you won't be part of it. You just see it happen. And you'd have loved to, to be part of the move of the spirit that is going out worldwide. Today, that is why I started with I Surrender All because I have seen in my own life, that after so many years in ministry, talking about almost 45 years I've been ministering under the power of God, I need to surrender to God. If I need to surrender, now I know there are so many people even need it more because I'm very hard in God. My faith is very strong. I stand, I, do, I, I, I challenge anything. I challenge, I challenge anything. Elijah, what Elijah has done, I've done in this modern world, I've challenged things and God has proven himself, just like Elijah. And this are all been said. When, when, the, when it was Ebola, I, I, we stood, we prayed, and we challenged the system when they, they prayed, and God answered. And the dates and everything, God showed us places. Pastor Ben will bear me witness. He was part of that prayer. But Sierra Leone, we, we stood nationally. There's a UK issues that we have stood nationally. We've done all these things, all that. No wonder Elijah after that, Elijah was walking and saying, Lord, uh, everybody is going to me. Then God says, no, There's a, there is a path that we reach. That when you get there, when, it's when you are going to give birth to something big, you suddenly start feeling it. You start feeling it. And then then is the time. If you can't make the decision, that is where you break everything. But Lord knows that I will never give up, even though I can feel it. I feel it more than anything in my life. I feel it more than when my mother died. I feel it more than whatever. I lost millions of pounds. I feel it more than anything. I feel it. There's nothing that has ever happened in my life that I felt so much deep than what I'm feeling now for the marching of souls and taking over the whole media. WhatsApp is for Jesus. Facebook is for Jesus. Shiraba Tayaba. Yes, YouTube is for Jesus. Instagram, even your picture that you would take a picture and send it, the glory of God will come on it. Hey, the spirit of God will save somebody with picture. I have seen my picture was sent to somebody dying and the, the, when he saw the picture, he came back to life. 
I was in UK here, the person was in Ghana. And they said, somebody just, I didn't send it. They said that this man of God, a man that was dying, and they just put the picture there. And that even serves as the altar to God. But then we need to surrender. Please close your eyes. Bow your head to the Lord. And I'm going to pray for you as I bring this to an end. I want you to go and separate some phone for the Lord. Separate some phone and your oxen must be given to Jehovah God. Set yourself ready for, for both of us. I'm setting myself to see God's glory because it's a challenge beyond my imagination. It's a challenge that I, I, I can feel, I can't express it, I can't say it. It's not describable, but I know this is heavy. I know it's heavy. I know there is something in it that I have never seen before. I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, and Lord, raise intercessors, raise people, Lord God, to stand the God, to stand the God with authority, Lord, and take over. Lord God, the world, the whole world will see and will know that Jehovah God, you are God, as we surrender all to you this day. I believe your God that you are taking these vessels and using them. Lord, Amen. turn around, turn around everything in our lives and let to God it be a sacrifice of glory, a sacrifice Amen. that will go out there, that the Lord will change your God, the affairs of this world. That Jesus, 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 Jesus. Lord, I thank you that when anyone surrenders to you, you will never Leave us. You never forsake us. You always prove your word. I know it is challenging, but I know that when he said we are more than conquerors, that's exactly the results of our surrender will never going to be different. It's not, it's going to be the same. We win because we are more than winners. We conquer because we are more than conquerors. We, we champion it because we are more than champions. You be the praise and glory. All those who are sick in body right now, you will be healed in the name of Jesus. Oh. Some people are having mental challenges. This second, it is gone. Heat is just left you right now. Amen. Yes, Amen. every disease, every pain is coming out of you right now. Amen. A bad condition is being healed right now in the name of Jesus. The authority of Christ, I speak it right now. Somebody's feet is being touched by God, and your gum is being the Holy Ghost fire is glowing or glory around it. I give you praise yeah. and I give you God. Somebody's feet is being strengthened. I give you praise yeah. and I give you glory. Macabre, yeah. a pastor, yes, is feeling the power of God, the heat on your back because there's been pain on your back for the past month. That healing is taking place right now. The yeah. fire of the Almighty Amen. God. Somebody come and lift up your hand uh, and take the anointing in the name of Jesus yeah. Christ. Uh. People's yeah. children yeah. have been touched by God. The Spirit yeah. of God is touching yeah. you. God is touching finances and breaking through. There's breaking yeah. Yeah. through hard that yeah. have been broken. Uh, let's yeah. just uh, give you praise. Uh, Lord, homeless people, God that have come to Christ, uh, Lord, you are making a home for them right now in the yeah. name of yeah. Jesus Christ, uh, Lord. Yeah. I see fire from heaven coming down and consuming the works of the enemy. And I see victory in the house of the Lord. And if a child of God who are in hearing me wherever in the world, uh, you believe that your time of destiny has come, begin to make some noise and say hallelujah amen. Come on, make some noise in the king of God. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you and keep the faith, keep strong and dedicate that altar to God. We'll come back again then move into the deeper parts of the altars. I see Baal's altar has come down in your life, in your environment, in, at your work, in your business, in your surrounding, Amen. in your children, Amen. whatever that belongs to you. Victory has come into it. The spirit Amen. of Baal is down and the Amen. glory of the king, the victory has come. And I hear the trumpet sound. Give God the glory. Peace Amen. be unto you. Shalom, Amen. shalom, shalom. Amen. Shalom. Amen. 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 God bless you, man of God. That was powerful.